So we've got our cows up to f over 500. Um, so what we might do is we'll just edit the name there and we'll change that name to um, PTE cows. So we go, put that in the capitals, PTE. Right, so we'll go back there, cows. Over 500. Okay, so I'm just going to put two rules in there. The, um, the rules, uh, basically, you can have up to eight rules um, in a rule set, and a rule set goes to a gate. So if, if you have uh, a number of rules in a rule set, all of those rules have got to be true before, the, before it'll draft to that gate. So in this case, I'm looking for preg-tested empty cows that are over 500. Now, I add the rule and I type on this now. So we want, uh, we want the preg-tested empty ones. So um, I'm going to put in the current trait value. Um, notice there, we'll go back there, add a rule. Notice there that the current trait value, the current trait value and the last trait value. This means that if I'd already recorded that, which I, I'll put a new tag in. So I'm going to use the current trait value because I'm going to include it in the session and it's going to be now, I'm going to actually record it. If I'd already recorded it, um, I will put it in as a last trait value. If I wanted to, if I wanted to draft on the on something that I'd already recorded. That's important to remember because it won't work if, you've, if you use a current trait value and then expect it to pick up the last one or vice versa. So because I haven't put the, the tag I'm gonna put in, I haven't put it in yet, I'm gonna make that a current trait value. And I'm gonna say that the preg status is, is preg test empty, done. And done there. And I'm going to add one more rule and I'm going to say the current weight. So that's a current trait value. And I'm going to select that weight and select is greater than. And I'll select that and I'll say that's um, 500. Done. And done. And save. Okay, so now I've got this, this um, drafting rule set. So, um, so what I can do now is I'll go back, go back, and I'll go resume on my session, and um, I'll go back to a zero weight, and I'm gonna pop it up now. Now it's waiting for an ID, I'll grab a new, a new ID, so I pick up the tag, it's gone to the others gate already because here um, the, uh, the um, weight is under 500 but also the, um, the preg test in calf is, is not PTE, it's preg tested in calf. So also the preg status is preg tested in calf. So now I can actually move the weight up and hit weigh again and it will lock onto a higher weight but still the preg status hasn't changed. Now if I change the preg status to that, it goes to number one, which is group one, because it's over 500 and the preg status is preg test empty. So as I said before, those two rules needed to be over 500 and preg test empty before that rule set would be all true and they would go to that gate. So, that's, so you can have, just to reiterate, you can have up to nine way drafting. You can have eight rule sets to a, to a gate. Many people don't have as many as that. There might be just two things that you want to do something, but you don't have to, you know, if you want to, if you want to um, say, weigh some animals based on one criteria and, in, uh, and, and also by weight, you can do it all in one go rather than have to bring them round again.